Well, a woman was found dead in a field in Grand Prairie last night, not far from the home of a suspect in the kidnapping of a Collin County woman. Fox 4's Dan Godwin live at the Collin County Sheriff's Office with the latest. Dan? Lauren, the body discovered yesterday was taken to the Tarrant County Medical Examiner. It has not yet been positively identified. We are waiting for an announcement on that. The discovery was made Wednesday afternoon in a wooded area behind a Grand Prairie neighborhood. The Collin County Sheriff's Department, Grand Prairie Crime Scene Investigators, Texas Rangers, and the state DPS were all on the scene well into the night after the body was found. The site is about a mile from the home of Ocaster Ferguson. Ferguson is charged with kidnapping 33-year-old Kayla Kelly, who was reported missing more than a week ago. An arrest affidavit revealed the two had been dating. Friends told investigators Kelly had recently discovered Ferguson was married and had given her a fake name. The affidavit says she threw threatened to tell his wife about the relationship. Kelly's car was found burned in Frisco last week, shortly after she went missing. In addition to the kidnapping charge, we've learned Ferguson is now facing one count of arson. His car was found parked near Kelly's home in McKinney with gloves, duct tape, and a blanket inside. The one piece of information authorities have released about the body that was found, it is female. Ocaster Ferguson, meanwhile, remains here at the Collin County Jail. His bond set at $1 million. Reporting live, Dan Godwin on Good Day.